a whole bunch of issues that have absolutely no uh, precedent in ancient history. So, for example, industrialization started in the 1800s, created an environmental crisis. There's no precedent in the 7th century for that. Right. Same with nuclear weapons. No precedent in the 7th century. Muslims who come up with rules about these modern precedents are making it up. It is bitter from beginning to end. No, no. So show me, show me where Muhammad talked about weapons of mass destruction. Okay, how can you expect a book this big to, to contain information, every single thing? Okay. So are you agreed that it doesn't talk about weapons of mass destruction? It won't talk about it directly, but then it'll talk about other things. So, like so, so give me an example of where it talks about something like a weapon of mass destruction. Well, the Quran says, for example, is, you know, uh, to be good to other people, for example, don't kill innocent people, it's like killing all of humankind. So that it also means says that Allah hates the unbeliever and that they're uh, dumb pigs, dumb animals uh, and pigs and monkeys yeah, and, and that, that you should be hard with the unbeliever. Yeah, that, that verse it also says you should wage war against that, that the Ali Al-Qitar. referring to is to the specific ones in that time, because those ones were the ones who were persecuting the Prophet, he's upon him. Again, but and that's an apologist's answer. It's not apologist, that's what scholars say unanimously. No. Because there's some hadith, some uh, ayats in the Quran. For 1400 years, are you aware that Muslim armies marched into Christian lands, so did the Christians justifying, into... justifying their invasions, occupations, enslavements and persecutions with the text of the Quran, which says to wage war against the Alim Al-Kitab? Yeah, but the Christians are the same with the slavery. No, answer my question. Are you aware of that? They, that's the thing, Muslims can use the text. I'll ask you again, are you aware of it? Yeah, th I'm, not, well, I'm aware that Muslims use the text. Were they wrong benefits. to do so? They're wrong to do so. So for 1400 years, Muslim scholars have been getting it wrong. Yeah, but, not, they, yeah, but they weren't all doing what you're saying they were doing. There were some 1400 years, every Islamic empire, from the Fatimad, the Umayyad, the Abisad, I mean, name one, the Ottomans, the Seljuks, like whichever wind you, one you want to point to, and ISIS, all invaded Christian lands using the verse about waging war against the Alim al-Kitab as their justification. Were they right or were they wrong? A lot of the empires that you stated, when they were, were conquering, for example, when after they conquered like Saul al-Din, he did he'd not tell the Christians you have to be Muslims. He did That's not, not my question. Yeah. So, I'll ask my question again. They invaded lands that were Christian. They used the reference in the Quran about waging war against the Alim al-Kitab as the justification, were they right or were they wrong? I don't know. I, 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 you don't I know. need to do more research on that. And even if they did... No. I mean, do you doubt that they did? I don't know. I don't know. Do you think that they did actions without referencing the Quran? A lot of the empires used the Islamic texts to justify the actions. And a lot of them, what they, they benefit society. So, yeah. for example, you're talking about the Muslims. And when the Catholics invaded Spain, for example... No, they liberated Spain. You say that, but then... The, it example, was a Christian land before the Islamic invasion. Fact. Yeah, but... When the Ottomans were there, okay, the Catholics... The Ottomans were, were not in Spain. In, in, in Andalus, yeah, okay, there's Jews there. There, there were no Ottomans in Andalusia. It was a Fatimid empire. Fatimid, okay, sorry, it was Fatimids. They're that. Shia, by the way. I'd, I'd, yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, the Jews, after, they wanted to come with the Muslims and escape from the Catholics who invaded Indolus. Okay. No, no, Catholics didn't invade Spain. They liberated Spain from an Islamic occupation. That's your interpretation. It's a fact of history. Spain... Spain, yeah. Spain, 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 Barak, Barak. Yeah, yeah. Like, me and you are having a nice conversation. Please don't allow trolls to jump into this conversation by giving them your attention. So my, my point to you is, my point to you is, I get the impression, Barak, if I pronounce your name correctly. Barak, Barak. I get the impression, Barak, that you're a better man than Mohammed. I, I, do, I genuinely do. That is my impression. You might disagree with it, but I'm just... I'm, I'm just saying that you are, you seem to me a better man than Muhammad. Because, look, he's the, okay, he's the man who told us, for example, um, that we have to respect, uh, that, that, you know, heaven is under our mum's feet, for example. Yeah. That we have to respect our neighbours, for example. Like, was, I'll tell you one story. Wait, probably, you don't need to, I believe you. Yeah, yeah. I believe you, you said that. But he also said, kill those that leave Islam. Yeah, but that was because... Okay, let me give you an example why I said that. So don't imagine... Them, I'll don't tell you, ignore him. One second. Ignore him, please. Okay, the reason why is because... Keep okay, talking to the, him. The Muslims, okay, were at war with the, the polytheists because the polytheists were the aggressor towards us. Now imagine I was in the British Army in World War II. I left the British Army and joined the Germans. Am I not a threat to the British Empire and the Queen? Yeah. Okay, and that person has committed treason. Allow me to reply to that because okay. that isn't what Muslims have done for 1400 years. What they have done is that they've killed civilians who have left Islam. And an example of that would be the martyrs of Cordoba. 
Because there were Muslims that left Islam, became Christians, and then were executed in Cordoba because they left Islam. There's, there's literal translate, literal interpretations by some groups of people of, of the text, literal. But the yeah. interp interpretation that I follow is that the reason why that hadith, which is Sahih, yeah. was you know narrated is because if he was to leave the Muslim army and then join the polytheists, wasn't about armies. Yeah, but no, no, that's the point. That's the context. If you're to leave the Muslims, okay, you know all about the Muslims, the hideouts, their secrets. Okay, you can go and expose the Muslims to no. the polytheists, and then they might come at night and attack. The, the hadith, the, actually, the context is that Muhammad was asked about uh, in what circumstances is is it legitimate to kill another Muslim? Right. And he said that there are three circumstances in which it is legitimate to kill another Muslim. One, they kill without a killing Muslim without a just cause. Two, they commit adultery. Three, they leave the religion of Islam. That's the context of that right. hadith. But there's more it's got of a context to that hadith as well. Yeah. Not just one context, there's more context to that context, yeah. if that makes sense. That's what is, Islam is like an ocean. You don't just rely on a hadith and say, okay, that's the interpretation. You have to look at the context yeah. and say what other hadiths are saying about that, what the scholars yeah. uh, commentary on, about, on the hadith is yeah. as well, if that makes sense. Barak, do you have it? This is your opportunity to ask a Christian a question right. about Christianity. Because it, it strikes me that I, I'm, I'm speaking to a decent human being when I speak to you. I get that impression, right? God alone is your judge. God alone knows your heart. But from my impression of you, you're a decent human being and you're not wanting the religion of most of the Muslims in this park. You're wanting a different Islam. Because, no, because I've spoke to these Muslims for six years, including the troll behind us, and they do justify killing Christians who have left Islam, who are civilians. They do justify having sex with children. They do justify waging jihad against unbelievers. That's what it, I've uh, experienced yeah, for six it's years. So, so focus on me. Ignore the truth. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I know, so I know. you're you're obviously you're obviously not wanting that Islam. And I would say that means you're not wanting the Islam of Muhammad. No, no, that's wrong. Because don't forget, we are all ignorant. We are laymen, for yeah. example. Like if I was to just find around Christian and ask about a specific verse in the Bible, it's like, oh, I have to look it up. Let me research it. I only wish they would. For Most example, of them will try to answer in ignorance. This is what I'm trying to say. A lot of us Muslims, including me myself. We're very ignorant. We don't know our religion properly, so we can't provide the valid answer. Yeah. Hence, why some Muslims unfortunately go to, you know, shouting and screaming and saying, you know, profanity, like some brothers did. You see what I mean? Example, That's because, his behaviour. Because this is due to our ignorance and due to our love of trying to protect our religion. So I do apologise for the behaviour that some Muslims do have. But this is the same behaviour. Do you condemn the Muslim sister that said she doesn't condemn paedophilia and she agrees with child marriage? I, I didn't hear the conversation, so I can't. It's on camera. I'm asking you a question. Do you agree with child marriage? Yes, yes. Do you agree with child marriage? I'm not going to deny it. Do you agree with child marriage? Yes! Right. That is the problem. I, well, I didn't watch Did you hear it? I, I didn't view, so I can't comment. Okay. I can't say anything about that. Right. So, my, my point to you is, bro. I, I, there, yeah. I do condemn that. No, but did you hear what she said? Okay, fair enough. So my point to you is, we, we've got it on camera, we've got lots of witnesses, right? And, and, and I, I actually think that what you did there is an example to Christians who are too quick to condemn what they haven't heard. And I, I wish Christians would do that, right? But what I want to suggest to you, bro, and this is where all the trolls are going to jump in and interrupt us, because I can feel them gathering, right? So we'll have to sort of bring this to a close. Okay, but what I want to suggest to you, bro, is that there is a better way that is open to you that is the way of our Lord Jesus Christ, where you don't have to try and come up with convoluted arguments to justify killing apostates, come up with justi uh, convoluted arguments to justify not having sex with children or not marrying children. We Christians do not have these problems. And we don't have these problems because we follow Jesus Christ. Now, have you got a Bible, bro? Right. Yeah. Um, uh, what I want to comment is, my father, okay, when he was my age, yeah. he, he didn't believe in anything. Yeah. So he decided to research the religions, Christianity, yeah. Hinduism, etc. Islam and he became Muslim. So he done all the researching yeah. and he decided to become Muslim over a Christian. I met a girl today in my church from Saudi Arabia yeah. who uh, rejected Islam and is now a Christian. And the reason why that might be is because in Saudi Arabia they've got a very literal and very harsh interpretation. I also I met before. another girl in my church today who uh, rejected Islam from Iran and is now a Christian. Well, Iran again is Shia dominated and they're very, they're very harsh as well. Saudi Arabia, Sali, Salafi. Salafi. I know they were had Salafi and I, I don't follow their views because they're very harsh. But I'm yeah. not going to say any comment on that. Anyway, so let's no, get. No, so back to my question: Do you have a Bible? I believe my, I have a Bible at home. Yes. You do have a Bible, and I'd like to give you a gift, a different, not a Bible, something else. Just, to, just as a, a thank you for the civil way that you've conducted yourself to show my appreciation. So thank you very much.
Yeah. Like I say, you've got these trolls that come around. They're just passionate because you've got. No, they're just trolls. Can you read Arabic? What? What's that in Arabic? Injil. Oh well, if it's Injil, then you've already got it. So let me give you a different gift. Let me give you a different gift. Can you speak English? Can you speak Maninka? I can speak English. I can speak French. What can you speak English? There you go, bro. Little gift for you. Have a read of your Bible. Come back another time and bring me your best questions and let's talk about it. Yeah, here's another gift. Give me that as well. I read that as well. All right. But I've got a lot of books as well, Muslim books, yeah. explaining how Jesus is, you know, uh, to have uh, in the Quran. I would love to have that conversation with you. Bring him and let's talk. God bless you, Barak. You're a really nice guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Right.